My name is Julian Noble. And my name is Alan Haug. And our game is Daedalus. Our game Daedalus is about navigating a two-dimensional maze that is semi-three-dimensional because it has a second layer that you can flip to. And they try and manipulate a ball inside the maze to get it to the center by colliding the ball with other balls that are stationary, but they're color-coded and their colors move walls of the corresponding color. So you not only have to solve the maze, you also have to solve these color puzzles to get to the center. And so it's all about um, figuring out the next move even though you can't see the entire maze at all times. Probably the largest challenge we faced was actually designing challenging mazes. That was a big challenge and the next best one was uh, coming up with mazes. Designing puzzles is very difficult because it has to, you have to make it and it has to not be so simple that it's easy to play but it, it ends up even easy to solve puzzles can be difficult to design so designing puzzles that are actually challenging and thought-provoking was probably the biggest challenge for me. It was kind of tricky at first getting the collision to work between the ball and the walls in the Unity engine. We were using some functions differently and for some reason there were still some bugs that we had to work out eventually. If I had more time to work on this project I would mainly add more levels. The player really gets more engaged as they feel themselves learning how to do it. But going with that would also be play testing, um, figuring out an appropriate difficulty curve, making sure that each puzzle is slightly more difficult than the one previous to it. And if there's only like a small handful of levels, it gets over. The game ends before it gets to that point of, uh, I don't know, before you reach flow. With Daedalus, we tried to stray away from common game design practice where the player controls uh, a single being inside the game or moving around a character. Instead, we wanted to give the player control of their environment. The only way for you to really feel like you had direct control over the, the maze itself is by forcing you to actually reach out and grab the maze and manipulate it with your own hands. We think the Kinect lends that well because uh, just the 3D space you can interact with instead of having like two axis joysticks or whatever. So we really wanted to give uh, a game to the player from that perspective to explore the space with the Kinect. Oh, oh, that, was, that was good. That was cool.